turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> International. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, third Good. party in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. What a kick. That one landed. Oh, that's how you throw a combination. Beautiful stuff there. Lee gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh, a huge block there. Jab now, no good. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Lands a solid kick right there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, Superman punch! Trying to find a home for that right hand. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Lead left by Lee. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Lee. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Good volume of the kicks. Didn't just throw one. A two, three, Beautiful down. kick lands there. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. 
Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Two minutes to go in the round. He lands a solid punch there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. There's that side kick. Now some separation. He loaded up there on that high kick. Engage in a single collar tie. Nice body shot there. Let it go now. Try to establish that jab. That's a jab. There you go. Keep working just like that. Able to land there with the straight left. That one's enough here. Nice. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Good series of kicks. <laughs> His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Trying to kick the leg out. 20 seconds to go. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Final seconds of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get to some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. Ready. He's got to be smarter in his approach Ready. in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice low kick. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that. Oh! Oh! And a ton of trouble right now. Oh! Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Great commitment to the kicking game. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. 
Throwing that jab, no good. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bojo. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now trying to find that shot again. Just touching him with the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Big ground and pound. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be careful here. Lee's got the full mount. Oh, he got to his spot. Uh. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lee's back in full mount. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. We'll see if he can finish. Knee to the body. Oh, nice. Taking a lot of body shots as well. 20 seconds now. Oh, he's hurt. Ten seconds now to go in the round. There's the one signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stands as you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to fight. Oh, in the night. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. I need more elbows from the top. Getting them out here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Back to his feet. Nice kick. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back. He got hurt again. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here.
Ali gets tattooed by that stiff jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, back and forth we go. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh! Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And can